Today I wanna to talk to you about five tips, five things that I know hold people back from their true success. So the first fear that I find people have is that they don't believe in themselves and they have low self-esteem and low confidence and they don't believe they really can do it and they really can deliver. And because of that belief system, it causes them problems. And so a great way to get over that fear and start to give yourself some confidence and self-belief is to look out for the little wins. Give yourself little wins to achieve, tiny little wins that you can achieve that can make you feel good about yourself and remind you that you're getting somewhere. So focus on those small wins. It will help build your confidence, it will help lift your spirits and it will help give you belief that you can achieve things that maybe right now you can't. The second fear that people have, I see a lot of the time, is that people think that everything needs to be perfect before they go into business. A perfect product, a perfect service, everything has to be perfect. But how about if something was good and profitable and you were doing that as opposed to being perfect and not profitable. It's really important that you get going on your journey rather than waiting for perfection. You can learn along the way. So don't fear it, don't fear being perfect. It's better to be good and making money, bringing revenue in, than it is waiting and holding out for this perfection and then creating revenue. Now, another fear that people have is investment. They fear that they don't have enough money and they feel they're gonna need a lot of money to start their business. But you'll be surprised the amount of people and resources that are out there if you were just trying to hustle a bit more than you do. Put the sweat equity in, put the effort and time in to learning and gathering information from family, friends, from uh, coaches, from mentors. Make sure that you put the time, effort and energy in and you'll find that there's lots of things that you can do without money. There's lots of resources online. So don't worry always about starting a business and having money and fear that situation. Get stuck in and do as much as you can without that revenue. Now lots of people fear that they don't have the right level of experience to be successful. That, that experience they need to be a successful entrepreneur. I need to talk to you about this, okay, because that fear, you need to understand what it really is. Do you think, any successful entrepreneur started with loads of experience. Every entrepreneur started somewhere. They may have had a full-time job before they became an entrepreneur, but they started somewhere that didn't have the experience, they didn't have the knowledge, they learnt it as they went. And the best lessons that you can get and the best experience you can get is by trying and doing, taking action. So don't fear not having experience, really don't, okay? If you've got something that you really believe in, then go forward and learn as much as you can. And remember, you'll get experience along the way. Now the last fear, fear number five that we see quite a lot of the time, is people think it's gonna be harder than it really is. And so they give up before they even start. They think it's gonna be so incredibly hard that they don't even bother to try. Let me tell you something about being successful. Is it hard work? Well, yes, of course it is. Do you have to put the time and the effort in? Of course you do. But is it really hard? I don't think it's really hard. Lots of effort's required, but I don't think it's really hard to become successful if you have something you believe in, something, the product and service that's really good. If you do, okay, and you take the effort, you take the action and you work really hard, you'll find that it isn't as hard as you think it is. Hopefully these five fears that sometimes some of you experience, bringing them to the, to the forefront and discussing them with you now, maybe it will remind you of some of the areas of weakness that you have and things you can do to improve yourself. If you like what I'm doing, please click the link below and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, YouTube, whichever it may be that's easy for you, and I'll make sure that I add further tips down the road so that you can help yourself develop and become a better, more successful, more driven, and guess what? More rewarded entrepreneur.